Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and with this video, I'll be discussing my thoughts on the first official trailer for the 2016 Ghostbusters reboot, starring Kristen Wiig, Kate McKinnon, Melissa McCarthy, and Leslie Jones, respectively. And uh, let me just say from right out of the gate, I already know this movie is like an uphill battle with all of the hate internet-wide that is already trying to, you know, pinpoint this as just being garbage from straight out of the machine, you know. Um, it's one of those things where I've been very trepidatious and very sort of cautiously optimistic. It's, it's kind of a half-and-half half thing where I'm familiar with some of the people involved, not all of the people, so I'm kind of waiting to see <laughs> what it's going to be and uh, I like a lot of what I've been seeing as far as the behind the scenes photography and the posters and concept art and everything like that and I just I, I've been chomping at the bit to see this particular trailer and a lot of people have already henpecked this thing as garbage before they even see scene one from any sort of trailer any sort of footage and that kind of boggles my mind, but then at the same time, I kind of understand it because we're talking about Ghostbusters. It is, for me, one of my earliest influences alongside Star Wars, Back to the Future. I mean, it came out in, in just the prime real estate of comedy, action, sci-fi, you know, that whole era, late 70s, early to mid 80s. And I'm somebody who has a lifelong fascination and love with a lot of the uh, SNL Second City, you know, actor comedians that came out of that era. Dan Aykroyd, John Belushi, Bill Murray, Harold Ramis, John Candy, uh, Chevy Chase, the list goes on and on and on. Rick Moranis, you know, it, it's just, it's such a beloved period, so you can kind of see why people are going to be like, e even in this, you know, era of the reboot and the remake, People are going to be very much, you know, anxietized to like, why are you messing with this thing that I love? And let me get right to brass tacks. You know, as far as this trailer goes, love it or hate it, as a lifelong Ghostbusters fan, as somebody who's been cautiously optimistic, only really familiar with like Kristen Wiig and Chris Hemsworth. Charles Dance was a name that stood out to me in the uh, cast listing attached to the video. Here is a guy who you don't necessarily know him by name, but you will always recognize this guy. You've seen him somewhere and he's usually known for playing villains. I have to assume he's probably playing a villain type character in this film. Um, but you know, people like Kate McKinnon, Melissa McCarthy, Leslie Jones, I'm not as familiar with. So I'm really just waiting to see. And I gotta say, you know, love it or hate it, I actually really loved this trailer. It sounds really smart, and I mean 1984 Dan Aykroyd Bible level uh, of the paranormal investigation and all that kind of stuff. Um, it, you know, the terminology is there, and I love that. I love the minutia of all that stuff because it's fantastical, it's somewhat loosely based in real science and everything like that, and it's, you know, from scene one, having this, I think they called it a class 4 apparition, suddenly just start vomiting ectoplasm all over Kristen Wiig's character. I mean, it made me laugh out loud, but at the same time, I love that you're getting that, that technical minutia, or those references, you know, everything like that. And the other big sort of grand scope, as far as what really made me love this trailer, it's kind of a mesh. The feeling, the look, and the vibe is really reminding me strongly of the real Ghostbusters cartoon, as far as the outlandish nature of the spirits, the ghosts, the spooks, the specters. I mean, we have this giant, almost, I thought it was Jack frickin' Skellington at first with the striped pants, you know, walking uh, in, in the middle of Manhattan or whatever it is, and like just fields of, of spirits, ghosts all over the place and everything like that. Like, I love the look of them. They don't look quite like the original Ghostbusters. They kind of look like the modern equivalent, but a lot of what it was really reminding me of is Disney's Haunted Mansion, and I don't mean that crap film with Eddie Murphy, another alum from that heyday, uh, that comedy action movie heyday. I'm talking about the ride at Walt Disney World in Florida, or if you think of uh, Phantom Manor out in uh, France, you know, in Paris, Disney World, or whatever it is. Um, that really unnerving, edgy, spooky vibe while also being, you know, a lot of the sequences in this trailer harken back to me elements of the original Ghostbusters. When you see them reacting to the car, 
know, they're like, uh, you did not disclose this was going to be a hearse. And then you have, uh, you know, Leslie Jones character being like, it's a Cadillac, you know, like, I just love that. That was totally made me laugh out loud. Um, again, just mesmerized by the look of the spooks and specters in this thing. And really, it really has me wondering, because I have heard some rumors, uh, there was like a, a Toy Fair, you know, 2016 uh, sort of leak, maybe, that suggested the sort of icon in the Ghostbusters logo might be a villain in the film. I, I don't know if that's a spoiler, if there's any truth to that, or if they just decided to make a figure based on, you know, the one you usually see in, in the red ring with the little line through it and everything. Um, I don't know if that's going to be an actual ghost, maybe a fill-in for Stay Puffed, Marshmallow Man, something like that. Um, but, uh, that brings me <laughs> that brings me to my favorite moment. I don't know if this is just going to be a cameo. Slimer. Slimer is in this thing. I had no freaking idea Slimer was going to be in this movie. With that, you practically made my day. You practically sold me the ticket. <laughs> you know, like, freaking Slimer, man. Um, It just, I swear, the, the whole thing, the whole thing was hilarious. It was funny, the whole aspect of, uh, you know, we're, we're dealing with possessions. Another thing that calls back to me, the idea of the real Ghostbusters, there were episodes like that where, you know, people, either the Ghostbusters themselves were possessed or, you know, they had doppelgangers, spirit doppelgangers, and, uh, you know, or other people were being possessed, all that kind of stuff. I hope we see inanimate objects kind of come into life. Like, I'd love to see a book come to life and grow teeth and start flying around a room. All that kind of stuff. The technical aspect. I really love the names of the characters. So far, the only one I've actually learned is Holtzman. And Kate McKinnon, she she looks like the female equivalent of Egon from the real Ghostbusters. And I already am crushing on her a little bit. And that's kind of like a weird Egon turn-on thing. <laughs> Like, I don't know, I, I really got a crush on Kristen Wiig as well. Um, but, like, there is this whole added aspect of somebody is trying to create, like, a device um, to propel paranormal activity and everything like that. And that compels me as well. It's like, they got, like, a, a, a mad scientist mastermind going on here. Again, calling back to the vibe of the real Ghostbusters cartoon. It's not like trying to be the original Ghostbusters. It's like a spin-off. It's like something that is loosely related to it, but it's got all this awesome vibe. I love that there wasn't any cheap comedy, you know? Like, I, I think the only joke out of the whole uh, sort of trailer that kind of fell just a little mildly flat <laughs> was where you have Ultiman in the hat and the wig, and she's just like, is it the hat or is it the wig? Which is too much, you know? Um, it still made me laugh. Like, I still got a laugh out of it. I just wasn't, like, uproariously laughing like at all the other stuff. The the power of Patty compels you or whatever, <laughs> you know, with the possessions. Um, I thoroughly loved this a hell of a lot more than I ever could have anticipated. And that's saying a lot. Like, even though I was going into it with an open mind, uh, I'm not somebody who's a fan of remakes and reboots, but I give them a chance. You know, you think of, like, the, the remake of Evil Dead. I actually really enjoyed it. I, I, you know, felt that there were some missteps along the way. I wish it was a little more campy comedy and everything like that. But it was going for a more visceral, more realistic kind of harder edge, and, and it worked for what it was. Contrasting to that, the uh, remake of A Nightmare on Elm Street, I really did not like it at all. I'm, I'm a lifelong Nightmare on Elm Street franchise fan. Love Freddy, love Robert Englund, love all that stuff. Wes, Wes Craven for the win and all that kind of stuff. And even the movies that strayed from his formula got a little more comedic. I loved all of that. You know, it's kind of in the vein, if you will, of, of the Ghostbusters black comedy sense. Uh, you know, pushing that envelope. And I didn't like the remake at all. Like, literally, at all. I, I couldn't stand it. There was one moment in the entirety of the film. One scene in the entirety of the film where, um, you know, Freddy for all intents and purposes, was in any way, shape, or form similar to the Freddy I knew and loved, you know, that kind of thing. And it just, it went too far the opposite direction. This, you can't really gauge the entire movie based on a trailer. But as far as selling me the idea of this movie, selling me the people involved, selling me story aspects 
like there's probably going to be so much more to it. I mean, you see Hemsworth coming out, you know, he's got like the fatigues on, but it's like, you know, tied at his waist. And so, you are you know, he's going to be the eye candy for the ladies in the audience and everything. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Um, as long as it's a good freaking story. And at least based on this trailer, it looks like it has the promise to be, and that's all I can really ask of it, and the performances look awesome. The comedy doesn't look cheap. It looks smartly written. And I mean, we're, you know, going to get cameos from the greats. Bill Murray is said to be cameoing in this. Dan Aykroyd, Ernie Hudson. Um, you know, it's unfortunately too late for Harold Ramis to, to, you know, be in there in the mix in some way, shape, or form. But I mean, if you love Ghostbusters... The original film, if you love <laughs> Ghostbusters 2, not a lot do. I enjoy it, um, even though it was a, just a retread, really, uh, for the most part of the original film. I, I can't say I'm as familiar with the real Ghostbusters or extreme Ghostbusters or all the things that have come afterward, the IDW comics and everything. These are all things that I have cursory familiarity with, but I have enough of a love for the original to want to delve into them and an interest to delve into them. And this is just another version of that. There have already been a bunch of different versions of Ghostbusters that are unlike that original film. And they have all been successful in various numerous ways. And so I'm not trying to like change anybody's mind or influence anybody to go see this and give it a chance, give it a fair shake. If you are dead set against it, but if you have even an inkling, if you watched this trailer and it made you smirk, if you reacted to it with any hint of positivity whatsoever, give it a chance. Because <laughs> it looks awesome, as far as I'm concerned. Slimer! Slimer, man! We're going to have an Ecto-1. It's not the Ecto-1 of old, but it looks good enough. I love that, that you know, again, that iconography of the white ghost in the red with the slash through is still playing a part and it looks like these ladies are having fun and it looks like the people behind the scenes had fun putting this together and I'm gonna have fun watching it and I really hope that the film goes much more you know further expounding outward from what this trailer did for me as far as getting me excited making me laugh really leaving me wanting to see this damn movie <laughs> Like, you know, lamenting that it's still a little ways away yet as of the time of this recording. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, at least for my money, loved this trailer. Really excited to check out the flick. <laughs> and, um, you know, that's all I can really say about it. So, uh, <laughs> otherwise, that'll be pretty much it for me on this. And I uh, hope this video finds you well. And I'll catch you all later. Peace.